Have you ever wondered why everyone raves about Asian sunscreens, especially on social media? It is well known that they are effective, comfortable, lightweight, and most importantly, makeup layers beautifully on top of it. That's something very, very important for me, sincerely, as a makeup lover. So today, I'm very excited to show you guys my top picks for Asian sunscreens. I'm actually wearing three different sunscreens right now on my face. I have one here, one here, and one here as well. For reference, I live here in Singapore. Hot, humid, sweaty, but I do have normal to dry skin type. So because of my nature of the environment, I do sweat quite a bit even though I get normal to dry skin. So normally, I would gravitate towards more chemical sunscreens. I've tried physical mineral sunscreens they usually don't work for me because they normally feel very dry throughout the day. The areas around here, the cheek area, they tend to get super dry by the end of the day. So that's something I'm not a big fan of. Just a quick heads up. So this mainly chemical sunscreens here. I'm a chemical sunscreen girl. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, we have the Biore UV Athleism Skin Protect Essence over here. This is how it looks like. I'm somewhere around here right now. I've used this quite a bit. So I just want to do a quick PSA that even though a sunscreen says sun essence, does it really mean that it replaces your essence? No, it does not mean that. It just means that the texture of this is a little bit more watery or runnier so that's what it means this has been marketed as kind of like a sports water resistant kind of thing but it's still very easy to remove with soap on my face i always use oil cleanser to remove it so i hear that oh i can use soap to remove it you know let me go try it out so i bought this i did bring this with me to bangkok for my two different trips so i wanted an all-in-one just to put on my body and everything on my face so this was very very handy and true enough you can use soap to remove this which is quite a nice thing but always for my face i will always use an oil cleanser and I will wash everything off. I don't really want to have remnants on my face, you know that kind of stuff. For chemical sunscreens, this does take a while to dry down into the skin a little bit but once it dries down, it does feel very lightweight. You cannot feel anything on your skin. So you'll give it yourself maybe like two to three minutes for it to fully sink into your skin. Once it dries down, there isn't any like tacky or heavy greasy feeling even wearing it throughout the day. It feels very lightweight and it doesn't absorb the moisture in my skin, that kind of thing. I've always experienced that with physical and mineral sunscreens. Biore is easily accessible here in Singapore. It's easily available in Guardian and Watson, so that is where I picked up mine. And will I repurchase this? Um, I'm not too sure. I do like it but not enough to actually go ahead and repurchase it. For an all-in-one experience, if I need something like going out for a really really long trip or whatsoever, I highly recommend this but if not, it's a bit like a meh meh kind of thing but it's still a nice sunscreen. I would give this um, seven and a half out of 10. Secondly, we have this TikTok viral sunscreen that everyone was raving about last year. Take a guess, do you know which one it is? Hmm? It is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sunrise and Probiotic sunscreen over here. Look at how much I have used this sunscreen over here. <laughs> I would say I'm about one third left over here. Yes, I truly, truly love this sunscreen a lot. I'm carefully rationing this right now. This is again a chemical sunscreen, but the texture of this, it's butter smooth. It's way much more refined as compared to the Biore Athleism one. And the texture is more refined, just really almost like a moisturizer, but you know it's a sunscreen. It spreads evenly and smoothly across the skin. And I just have a really, really good time experiencing this particular sunscreen. I see why everyone loves it. I believe some people were having a little bit of a trouble if yeah, they're using the Beauty of Joseon and the Cosarex snail mucin essence if I am not wrong so if you're using that let me know but for me personally I don't have any issues I always use vitamin C in the morning and then I go in with this sunscreen no issues no tingling on my skin none of that didn't break me out whatsoever so 
I genuinely enjoyed this sunscreen so so much. It's really really worth it. No fragrance, no smell. I usually am very sensitive to scents. So normally when it comes to sunscreens, I would stay away from those with very strong heavy floral smells, which I have encountered a couple. This is definitely much more on the moisturizing side of things but don't worry if you're oily skin because I do have friends who are oily skin and I recommended this to them and they absolutely love this. So I believe Beauty of the Sun really has mastered the perfect ratio for moisturizing and oil and it's just that nice balance but it's Definitely that glowy, dewy look, but it's not too greasy. It doesn't feel heavy or stuffy on your face because I absolutely hate that feeling throughout the day. I can feel it like underneath my makeup when it starts to feel greasy and starts to like slip all over. That's a no-go, but for this, I don't experience this at all. Really want to pick up one more of this, but the amount you get for this is a little bit little it is 50 ml over here on the back it does state that and i feel that 50 ml is a little bit little uh, i didn't mention but sorry but the biore one is 70 grams so it's 70 ml so it you get a little bit more product than this i highly recommend it i did want to repurchase a backup of this but i have a lot of sunscreens right now so i'm just gonna go through all of that first definitely will repurchase it i will give it a solid nine and a half out of ten it's really just the amount it's a little bit too little for me honestly but nine and a half out of ten formula everything love it next up is the skin 1004 madagascar centella hyalucica water fit sun serum this is how it looks like and you get 50 ml of product it seems like the standard for korean or just asian sunscreens in general it is 50 ml unfortunately which i feel like I hope they can make it slightly bigger. Even a 70ml one would be great, but 50ml maybe is because for travel purposes, they want to put it in the bag and everything, reapply. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know about you, but I don't reapply my sunscreen. I know, I know I should, I know I should with a matte sun stick or whatever, but I don't. I'm guilty of that, okay? And the reason why I love this sunscreen is that the packaging of this comes with a pump so this is great in terms of hygiene and just dispensing the product especially you want to know like how much you're going in you can go in like by gauging how many pumps and stuff like that so i like that the texture of this is creamy but it is slightly thinner as compared to the beauty of joson one beauty of joson one feels leading more towards the moisturizing side of things this is leaning more towards the hydration side of things this does contain hyaluronic acid and sika which are two ingredients that my skin really really likes and i do go through roughly per day three to four pumps for my face i could go in a little bit more for example if the sun is like really like beating down that kind of stuff i will go in with more cover my neck as well okay with my neck i guess it's like five pumps almost which i guess it can be a little bit annoying to use but in terms of hygiene and everything i think this is very practical and i do love this high quality pump it depends on each individual user i know some people find it a little bit annoying to just keep like pressing and everything but personally i dig it honestly and also it's very travel friendly at the same time so i do like that again all the sunscreens that i've recommended in this video not greasy doesn't feel heavy on your face throughout the day that kind of stuff no fragrance as well you can't really pick up any fragrance at all and it also sinks into the skin very easy and also very fast that's something that the athleticism one kind of lacks in that department so this one is great for those fast free days you need to apply something and you're out the door granted for chemical sunscreens you should wait for about 10 to 15 minutes before you set out for it to actually start working so just a quick little note on that there's no tacky feeling just a nice healthy glow to your skin so this is great for also a makeup base when i go in with a demi matte or a semi matte foundation it just gives that nice glow underneath my skin and as I wear it throughout the day that nice glow and shine just peeks through a little bit more. If I finish this today, I would repurchase it. I would probably give this mm, maybe an 8 
out of 10 for this. Let me know, are you a chemical or physical sunscreen kind of person? I would love to hear from you guys. And what are your top picks for sunscreens? I would love to hear for recommendations. I'm always on the hunt, always doing little research as well. And if you're interested in checking out what goes behind the scenes during a beauty event. You guys can check out this vlog I did over here. This was my first ever beauty event and it was held last year in 2022 by Wish Trend. It was one of my core memories for the year, very memorable. You guys can go and check it out over there and I will see you guys over there.